All road leads to the federal capital this weekend, where we expect another marathon event. Organizers are putting finishing touches to the to have each free event. TV6 sports correspondent Jane Francis Uweze has more details of this report. And after that, Nefebi Ogunsuye will be back to continue. What did you say? The London City Marathon, Boston Marathons, maybe the Zurich International Marathon. But Abuja is gradually growing in this culture of marathon. And here is another half marathon in the city of Abuja. Because last year experienced three prestigious marathons in the city. The half marathon, the ECOWAS marathon, and the chief of defense staff half marathon. But on Saturday, the 20th of April, there would be another half marathon in the city of Abuja. Participants are very excited, coming in their numbers to register at the Expo, pick up their bags, and of course confirm their participation at the race. I've run about four marathons in Abuja. This is the fifth one. And I'm excited to run this one too. I'm running for fun. But if I win something, fine. Abuja needs that recognition because Abuja is a new metropolitan city that deserves to have such a high profile uh, marathon race. Although it's only half a marathon, but at least it's the beginning. And uh, it will be an opportunity for people to come into Abuja and see the city. Organizers of the Abuja Half Marathon, in partnership with the Federal Capital Territory, are making plans for a stress and incident free race. Organizing security as well as put in place alternative routes because the race would cost across major cities. It starts at the city gate and will terminate at the old parade ground. The pool of runners that are coming as international runners is so big that I'm looking at I'm looking at getting it done before one hour six minutes. The race will start 7 a.m. and it will end. The cut off time is 11 a.m. By 6.30 a.m., the route will be closed and open again by 11. So the alternative routes have been communicated on digital media, on, on TV and radio. We were right on Saturday. It's not, a, it's not just all about excitement. There's a prize money tied to it. An open winner prize for the first man or woman to cross of $5,000. And one million naira for the first male or female Nigerian to cross the finish line, trickling down to the fifth person. Jane Francis Wenzel, TVC News, Abuja.